Okay, so in the previous video we have added the shooting mechanics. Now in this video we will be adding the reloading mechanic as well. So just simply open up your shooting controller and what we're gonna do right here we're gonna create a new header okay and let's name this as reloading okay and in here we will add a public integer by the name of max ammo and the maximum ammo will be 30 okay then add a private integer by the name of current ammo and this will be as it is then let's create a public float let me actually do this okay let's do it right here so uh, public float name this as reload time this will be by default 1.5 then we will create a flag or you can say a bool so we will say public bool is reloading and by default this will be false that is it now if we scroll down right here after this uh, shoot method we will create another method by the name of reload okay and in here i will say if the player is not reloading i think we spell that incorrectly okay let's click on change all occurrence and set it to is reloading okay now as you can see it is renamed and when we are not reloading and also the current ammo is less than the max ammo then what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna set the is reloading pool to true okay and then right here we will uh, play the reload sound but that is for the future and after this when we are done reloading then we want to reset the uh, is reloading okay and also we want to uh, make the current ammo full again okay so for that right down below we can create another method so we will say private word finish reloading and in here when we finish reloading we want the current ammo to be equals to max ammo set is reloading to false and we're gonna say that if we are shooting and we are walking then what we want to do we want the animations to be played so let me actually cut this from here for now and uh, right here at the top we're gonna paste it okay so we're gonna say uh, if you are reloading okay and if we are shooting and walking then we want to play the shoot reload animation okay or uh, you can say uh, that reload animation in which the player is walking and reloading so we will say animator dot set trigger and we want to set the shoot reload trigger okay and then if the player is just shooting so we just simply we say that animator dot set trigger and we want to just trigger the simple reload animation okay and then right here let's call this finish reloading method right here okay so we're gonna say invoke finish reloading and we want to add some delay so the delay will be the reload time okay and also now let's copy this if else condition paste it right here 
we also want to reset these triggers as well because when the player is done reloading then we want to reset the triggers so right here just simply type reset okay and right here as well that is it now in the shoot method we will be adding now a if condition in the shoot method right here and that condition will be if the current ammo of the player is greater than zero okay so if the player has any ammo then the player will be able to shoot or else the player will not be able to shoot okay so let's add curly brackets that is it so if the player doesn't have any ammo then the player will not be able to shoot and then what the player will do the player will automatically reload so we're gonna call the reload method right there okay and also now we want to reload when we press the r button because if you see the player controls right here we have this reload button which is set to r okay so what i want i want that whenever we press the r button the player should reload okay so for that we're gonna add a if condition in the update method okay at the end and in this one we're gonna say if the input manager dot uh, reload input is pressed okay and the current ammo is less than the max ammo it means that if the current ammo is not 30 then we're gonna reload okay so everything is set up for reloading now also what we want that whenever the player is reloading okay or if the player is sprinting then what we want we want the shoot the shooting movement everything to be false okay let me tell you why we need to do that for now if we save the script and then right here in the start method we need to also set the current ammo to the max ammo whenever the game start okay and also when we are shooting okay if this shoot code is uh, executed then we also want the ammo to be uh, decreased one by one so right here uh, after this we're gonna say current ammo minus minus okay so that the current ammo get decrease uh, whenever the shoot method is called okay and as you know when the ammo decrease then we will be able to reload and if the ammo becomes zero then the player will automatically reload okay actually not right here uh, right here okay in the else block right here we are reloading whenever we press the r button and the current ammo is less than 30. okay so now let's save the script back again and right here now if we play the game okay now if we shoot as you can see the player is shooting let me click on player there is the max ammo reload time everything is set up let me now shoot one fire again and as you can see the current ammo when it becomes zero the player reloads by itself as you can see let's shoot again now when the ammo gets zero the player reloads and also if we shoot one time and press r button as you can see the player reloads as well now if we are uh, walking okay and let's go ahead and uh, shoot okay and as you can see now the player is walking and reloading okay as you can see Okay, so this works perfectly fine but now if we are uh, sprinting and start shooting as you can see this looks really bad okay and we actually don't want this so what I will do right here at the top we're gonna say that if the player is reloading and not and uh, this means or the player movement 
dot is sprinting where it is is sprinting then what we want we want let me actually copy this whole else condition and let's paste it in here okay we don't want any of these animations to be then played okay and from here we will just simply return so that the code down below doesn't get executed okay so now if we save the script and play the game again now you will notice that when we are sprinting okay as you can see we are unable to shoot okay as you can see the player is not shooting as you can see and also when we are shooting and then start walking as you can see the player shoot and walk but if we start sprinting as you can see the shooting stops okay and the player is now sprinting okay so that issue is fixed as well so now our shooting mechanics works perfectly fine as well and in the next video we will add some muzzle flash effect and some sound effects to our rifle so see you guys in the next one